Thank you, Tori. Well, the time now is 745. Today in San Francisco, hundreds of health care activists will protest health insurance companies and advocate for an improved health care system. One of those protesters, Hilda Sarkeesian, is here to tell the story of her late 17-year-old daughter, Natalie, who Hilda believes died because their health care provider denied a liver transplant, then later reversed that decision, but it was too late. Hilda joins us along with the Los Angeles City Attorney, Rocky Delgadillo. Nice to have you both here. Thank Great to be here. Thank the you. illness with your, your daughter began when she was 14. Yes. Diagnosed with leukemia. leukemia. But that went into a remission yes. for a while. Yes, it did. How long was uh, she in remission? About uh, 15 months. She was good. She was on chemotherapy. Mm -hmm. She was fine. We had a big sweet 16 for her. It was happiest ever. Everything was great. We went on a trip together to Armenia. It was beautiful. That was her dream. And then after the seven, her 17th birthday, um, in July, um, she didn't feel good. We were going to the doctors anyway every month to the hospital to get checked up, make sure everything was fine. And then all of a sudden, they came and slapped it to my face yeah. and said, um, her leukemia is back. When did you find out she needed a liver transplant? Um, when after the bone marrow transplant uh, through my son, who's uh, 22, Bedik, and it was a perfect match. We did that, and all of a sudden complications started. And they told me she needed a liver transplant, and the insurance company is denying it. Denying it, denying it, denying it. Now, was, was there a liver uh, available yes. at the time? There yes. was. Yes. So you went to your insurance company. They denied yeah. the Yeah, many the times. This is not unusual from what we understand. Well, this is, a, this is a tragic example of how our healthcare system is broken in America. And I can't imagine what the Sarkeesians have had to go through. Uh, Natalene is that tragic example of this broken healthcare system. And health insurance companies are denying claims and canceling people's insurance when they make claims. But wouldn't it seem like if, if there is a, trans, uh, a liver available, Mm -hmm. And the doctors say this is a 65% chance or more mm -hmm. that it would be successful. They would go ahead with the operation and kind of deal with it later. Well, you know, the, the, the issue here is that health insurance companies are making decisions based on profit, not based on the care of the patient. And profits are driving the equation today. And unfortunately, that's not the way the American healthcare system was yeah. designed to. But are, are you forward. surprised the doctors didn't say? I mean, there's the Hippocratic oath and all this kind exactly. of thing that they didn't go ahead with the operation. They should have done it, but uh, it's too late. Yeah. Eventually, uh, your provider did come back and say, "All right, we will approve it on a one. This is uh, not precedent we're setting." Okay, the reason they said that, first of all, um, the California Nurses Association were mm -hmm. right there behind us, our community, our churches, our friends and family. And we went to Glendale, Cigna headquarters. We had to protest. What if I was the type of a mom that sits in the corner, does nothing about it? What were they going to do? Yeah. You think they were going to reverse that decision, which was too late? No. But guess what? I'm here today, not only on behalf of my daughter, Nataline Sarkisian. I love you, Mommy. Um, California Nurses Association, I'm going to support them until the day that I can't anymore. And uh, the public. Everybody, American people, everybody, you, the, your family, because this could happen every day. These insurance companies are driving us around. They're behind the steering wheels, driving us around. This is not right. We had insurance. We had insurance. Cigna denied us. But guess what? The person who denied us, when he goes, he's going to go to hell, whoever it is, and he will never see those pearly gates. No one is going to greet him in front of those gates. Thank you to both of you for coming yeah. in this morning. Thank you for coming in Thank and telling you. the story. I Thank you. You're going to continue. This I fight. am. Yeah. I am. And I want to invite the public today to the rally. Okay. We'll Make your back. voices heard. We'll be back with uh, more of Mornings on Two in just a moment. Stay tuned.